those photographs and persons depicted on Fugitive Watch are presumed to be innocent unless proven guilty in a court of law. Welcome to this new edition of Fugitive Watch. I'm Steve Ferdine. We'll be featuring some exciting stories about dangerous fugitives and unsolved crimes. We have several cases that were caught on tape. A man is seen committing a jewelry theft from a Cupertino Sears store, and a woman comes home to find a burglar inside her house. Hayward police detectives need your help to capture a dangerous fugitive that has been on the run for over 14 years, and Watsonville police are on a manhunt for a gang of robbers that brutally stabbed a man. So don't go away, you don't want to miss these stories and more crimes caught on camera. In this report, a Fremont woman comes home to find a burglary in progress. Police detective Matt Bocage has been assigned the case and needs your help to get the suspect identified. Let's go to Scott in the field with more details. Fremont Police Department is asking for Fugitive Watch viewers help in identifying the person in this surveillance photo. The woman comes home from work, walks in her house, finds this guy rummaging through her bedroom. She ends up chasing him outside the house. He jumps in a car, he nearly runs her over. Viewers, we want to remind you, property, money is not worth your life. Fortunately, in this case, she's okay. We're hoping somebody can identify this guy. Give us a call at 1-800-9-CAUGHT. These are the latest fugitives that are posted at fugitive.com. Many of them may be considered dangerous by law enforcement. Do not make any attempt to arrest, apprehend, or detain them. The Monterey County Sheriff's Department is currently seeking Martin Speenberg on a $110,000 warrant charging him with child molestation and failure to register as a sexual offender. Detective Larry Bryant reports that Speenberg's current whereabouts are unknown. He was last known to be living in the cities of Seaside and Salinas, but is believed to have fled to England. This photo is from 2007. The Santa Clara County Sheriff's Department is currently seeking Guadalupe Michelle Zamora on a warrant charging her with violation of probation, burglary, and assault. She was originally arrested by the San Jose Police Department on a warrant charging her with burglary and assault. Detective Richard Lira reported that Zamora had been identified as one of two suspects caught on video during an alleged robbery of the Stop and Go Market on South Jackson Avenue near McKee Road. According to Detective Lira, Zamora and another unknown accomplice entered the store and allegedly began began stealing merchandise. As they fled the store, they allegedly assaulted the clerk before driving away. Zamora and her accomplice were caught on video and featured on the Fugitive Watch television program, the Fugitive Watch newspaper, and website. She was recognized by a citizen who called our hotline and identified Zamora. The second female accomplice remains unidentified and at large. She is described as Hispanic, about 18 to 25 years old, 5 feet 5 inches tall, 130 pounds, with brown hair. She was last seen wearing a black hooded sweatshirt, tan pants, and white shoes. The car they were driving is described as a tan Ford sedan with the license number 4NOR468. Please call the Fugitive Watch hotline at 1-800-9-COT if you have any information about Zamora's whereabouts or if you can identify the other woman. The Union City Police Department is currently seeking Cam Dial, also known as Kamaldeep Singh Dial, on a warrant charging him with parole violation. He is known to frequent the Fremont, Union City, and Hayward areas. Please call the Fugitive Watch hotline at 1-800-9-COT, that's 1-800-922-8448, or text 408-355-0999 if you have any information on his whereabouts. The Alameda County Sheriff's Department is seeking the public's help in locating two brothers who have outstanding warrants charging them with murder. On Sunday, November 9, 2003, Alameda County Sheriff's deputies responded to a call regarding suspicious circumstances at Sims Park on Niles Canyon Road in Sinol. When they arrived, they found the body of Reyes Sanchez Carbajal near the creek in Sims Park. On May 15, 2006, the cold case unit obtained two no-bail murder warrants for two brothers, Nicasio Carbajal-Leon and Felipe Carbajal-Leon. 
Detectives say the Leon brothers allegedly killed their cousin, Reyes Carbajal, after a family dispute. Remember folks, many of these fugitives may be considered by law enforcement to be extremely dangerous. Do not make any attempt to arrest, apprehend, or detain them. If you recognize any of these fugitives, call our hotline at 1-800-9-CAUGHT, or if it's an immediate sighting, call 911. We have a video of a police chase by the San Juan County Sheriff's Department in New Mexico. Don't go away because you're going to be amazed at what you see. <laughs> 